Hello pals and gals, this is quick tip Photoshop fix number two and this is what we're going to be working on today. Bye for the screen. Okay, today's quick tip involves sharper images. Uh, whether that be sharper eyes or more detail on the hair, that's up to you, but this is a sharper trick. Now there's obviously several ways to make your images sharper. One, take a proper picture. Two, use your uh, sharper, sharpen masks here and whatnot. But here's the quick tip that I would like to teach you guys. There's under this other palette, there's high pass filter. Notice that I did make a copy background layer right there. You need a copy background layer. Okay, so we're going to go up to Filter, Other, and select High Pass, like that. Okay, now you're looking at me and you're probably saying, wow, that's a little crazy. That doesn't look sharper, it looks gray. Wait a minute, hold on, hold your horses, I will show you the magical trick. Now I usually leave it at 10, it gives a nice enough sharpness, um, and it doesn't distort the colors. If you go any higher, your colors will start changing, and you'll see what I mean. So leave it at 10 and hit OK. Now what we're going to do is here under your layers palette, you have this little tab here, magical little tab. What you're going to do is go under here and select overlay right there, overlay. Whoa, it looks like it went back to your image. But something has happened, hasn't it? Yes, it has. Here's before, here's after. Before, after, before, after. Now what that means, let me zoom in properly. is that now, before, after. Incredible sharpness. Depth in the eyes, detail in the lashes, and the mouth, and the hair looks shiny. But the skin looks a little rough. So here is the final quick tip. What we're gonna do is create a mask by selecting that little button right here. When this occurs, you get a little square right there, okay? Now what you're going to do, while black is on bottom, and by black on bottom I mean this lovely thing. You have white on top, black on bottom. If you have it like that, you can hit this little button right there, and it'll go back and forth. The shortcut for that is X. See? Switch foreground to background colors. Shortcut for that, X. Like that. Okay. So with black on bottom, what we're going to do is hit... C command or control, depending if you're on a PC or on a Mac, hit command or control, delete, or backspace for some of you. And what happens, a little rectangle over here has turned black. Okay, what that does, completely removed our sharpness. But here's the trick. Now let's select our brush tool, shortcut for that is B. Brush tool is right, located right there. That's what it looks like. Okay, and let's make a nice fluffy brush. Okay, and by fluffy, I mean your hardness needs to be to zero. Okay, now I'm going to zoom in, not like that, zoom in, and I'm going to paint the eyes, like so, bringing back the sharpness that we had created. Now I'm only doing it to the eye here, well, to the, the whole eyelash area all of this right there. Now you can see the difference between one of the eyes, the one that's been sharpened, and the other. Now let's do this one now. Look at that. The colors have just popped. Everything looks great. Let's do that a little bit to the mouth. Like so. Uh, it's a little too dark for my taste. I'm going to take it back. Black on top. And I'm going to bring down the opacity of this to like 60 and then do it. That looks a lot better. There we go. I'm going to do it to the bottom of the nose, just to click like that. And I'm going to do it to the eyebrows, but I'm bringing the opacity down even further. Like so. Okay, now I'm bringing the opacity back to 100, and what we're going to do is do the hair. Like so. Let's... Oh, look at the sharpness coming into that hair. Now you have to be careful sometimes because if you over sharpen this sometimes, if you select something, 
it, the hair might look a little oily as opposed to sharp. So be careful of that. Just do it to your particular taste. Look at that. Nice, sharp details. This also works really great on jewelry. It brings out that pop and that sparkle. So there you go. Let's take a look at our before and after. Before, after, before, after. Pop. Just absolutely pops. Great, huh? And uh, that has been your quick tip Photoshop fix number two. Hope you guys join me in for the next one, and I hope to see you guys soon. Bye. Mm-hmm. <laughs>